Hello, I'm Lindsay Dixon and I'm a pharmacist here from British Columbia, Canada. Thanks for joining me today. Today we will be discussing vitamin D testing, when it is and is not necessary. So you may remember from our first video on vitamin D that vitamin D deficiency is a global public health issue. Many people in the world, especially people in the Northern Hemisphere, can be more prone to vitamin D deficiency, more specifically in the winter months. Many people would like to get tested. Wouldn't it be interesting to know what your vitamin D was like? So it's important to note that although many people do have low levels of vitamin D, few have seriously low levels that could cause issues like osteoporosis, osteomalacia, rickets, and those sorts of diseases. Very few people are in that state, and so very few people actually do need a test for vitamin D deficiency. So vitamin D, when measured in the blood, is measured in a unit called nanomoles per liter. And it's generally agreed upon that levels below 30 nanomoles per liter is classified as a deficiency that leaves someone at risk for different health issues, such as rickets or osteomalacia. A vitamin D level of 30 to 50 nanomoles per liter may show some signs of inadequacy in some individuals. And the general consensus is that 50 nanomoles per liter or higher is adequate for most individuals. There is a bit of a range for what is safe. Around the level of 125 nanomoles per liter, we start to see issues with toxicity of vitamin D. And this is a reflection on the ability of vitamin D to build up in the body, being that it is a fat soluble vitamin. So Statistics Canada did a survey a few years ago and they were looking at the vitamin D levels of Canadians. And it's important to note what they observed. They observed that about 32% of Canadians were below 50 nanomoles per liter of vitamin D. And about 40% of Canadians were below 50 nanomoles per liter in the winter compared with only 25% in the summer. So you can see how these levels can vary quite seasonally. But you can also see the deficiency is actually quite an issue in Canada. Even if we're just looking at 25 to 40% of Canadians that may have deficiency, that's quite a large number when you scale that up to the population of Canada, which is about 34 million. So if you're curious about vitamin D testing, I'm going to go over some reasons now of why you actually might not need a test. One of the reasons is that testing usually does not improve treatment, nor does it change the recommendation or course of treatment. However, there are some health conditions where vitamin D testing may be beneficial. Some of these disease states are as follows. Here are some health conditions that may warrant a vitamin D test. Osteoporosis, diseases that damage the body's ability to use vitamin D. Severe liver disease, hypo or hyperparathyroidism, medications affecting vitamin D metabolism, and a history of non-traumatic fragility fractures. So if you're still curious and you still would like to get your vitamin D levels tested, it might not be covered by the public health care service here in Canada. Here in British Columbia, the cost for a vitamin D level test could range anywhere between about $60 to $100, depending on what type of test you'd be opting for. So I would say that it's possible, but is it necessary? And do you really need to be paying that kind of money for a test that really might not change the course of treatment for you? Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you feel a little bit more informed now about why we don't always test for vitamin D levels. Why these tests are somewhat expensive and maybe not very helpful because they really don't change the course of treatment, nor do they tell us very much unless you are actually showing symptoms or have a chronic disease that would leave you more predisposed to a severe deficiency. If you're enjoying these videos, I would encourage you to subscribe to Friendly Pharmacy 5 on YouTube.
and you can click on the bell icon and that will give you notifications of future videos that I cover on important health topics, including more about vitamin D, the latest on COVID-19 and other very relevant health topics for you and your family. I hope you have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.